hello welcome or welcome back to my channel this is mc once again thank you so much for the tune in today i'm super excited to share with you my first purchase from louis bay yes from the title of this video you can already tell what it is and i finally pulled the trigger on this one i'm so happy to add the bag to my collection as you know my style is pretty classic with an edge twist and i gravitate toward timeless pieces that complements my outfits and lifestyle well but before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing i'm into fashion luxury lifestyle and don't forget to hit that notification bell on as well so you won't miss out all the videos i upload without further ado let's just go ahead and start For those who know me, I tend to lean more towards significant structured bags with femininity, of course with the exception of some, like the ones I purchased recently, and this is the classic example. It's my Chanel 19 in the size regular or small or medium, I don't know how they call it. It's very confusing, you know, but you can uh, check my unboxing video of this bag. You know, it's a slouchy bag, but I still love it, so it's not structured. And this one, which I'm going to show you next, my unboxing of the Louis V puzzle uh, small bag. I purchased this online and, you know, to save time. So I'm going to open this off cam. So here it is. It came without a bag. It's wrapped in a bubble wrap. I wanted to unbox this with you guys. So you can also tell me what are your thoughts in the description box below. This one is my first ever pre-love handbag. And this is a true unboxing. <laughs> So let's inspect together. So like I mentioned, this one is the original dust bag. There's the tag, Louis V. Oh, it's still wrapped in plastic or bubble wrap. So, I'm super excited about this purchase since it's my first pre-love uh, handbag. So this is the Loewe V puzzle small bag in green cup skin leather. It's in the color tan. Let's see the condition of the bag. Let me just remove the plastic on the handle as well. Wow. I didn't expect it to be very beautiful like this. So this is the logo. It's blind stamped. And let's see the gum lining first. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. So no damage, no flow on, or scuffing, no rub or scratches on the surface of the bag. Let's see the zipper. The zipper is smooth as well. Oh. So it has a gold metal hardware. The handle is perfect as well. It's in perfect condition actually. And there are no feet. It's okay. It's designed to have no feet. It 
it's clean also on the inside pocket let's see the interior so here's the strap and the documentation it's absolutely clean as in brand new condition there's only one slit pocket and a giant uh, compartment and there's a tag right here which says Loewe made in Spain so let's go to the strap the gum lining is perfect this one is like new or in pristine condition there's no flow no scuffing damages whatsoever and it is of course the reason why i love the strap is because it's obviously <laughs> removable and adjustable it has four holes where you can adjust according to your preference and on the hooks there are the Louis V engraved and there's also this square small logo right here it also comes with a cert with certificates of authenticity this one is from Louis V of course uh, it says here Madrid 1846 and another from luxury station ph uh, certificate of authenticity this luxury station ph is a repeatable authenticator of luxury bags it also has a gold stamp right here and a code and another one from authenticate first yeah authenticate first which i really love because I have how many? Three uh, like certificates. So that's the documentation. This bag can be worn different ways. Let's uh, hook first the strap. So it can be worn handheld like this with the crook of your arm, shoulder, and crossbody. It's really beautiful. I love it. This is such a versatile and practical. It's casual. For every day and perfect for travel as well so you can easily fold this um, you just have to follow the pattern or the puzzle line and it will flatten so I'll show you guys can you see that <laughs> it can really flatten I saw it in one of the YouTube channels I've seen in the past. That's why I got interested with this bag. This is what you do when you want to fit it in your luggage. And to bring it up, you just have to pat it like so. Pat around. And it will go back to its original shape. Amazing, right? I just love the design the geometric pattern is so unique the logo is um, subtle because it's blind stamp like I mentioned earlier very well made bag lightweight which is so important to me because you know as we get older our shoulder hurts a lot and 
to retain the structure since this one is a slouchy i wanted to maintain the original shape by inserting a bag organizer so i will be ordering one soon so this tan is in the warmer tone i really love the color there's nothing in my collection quite like it one interesting uh, fact i've learned about this puzzle bag owing to its precise and complex pattern is it takes an expert team nine hours to assemble just one bag which only adds to its comparable appeal another thing i love about it is if you want to bring two or more bags when you travel you know it, you can just fold this like i've shown you earlier and put it in your luggage i don't know guys tell me if you're willing to do that to your uh, bag your leather bag but why not right so luxury items or bags are meant to be enjoyed and used you know i actually have been thinking of owning this for over a year already but i couldn't decide simply because i thought it would fall into a uh, trendy category handbags usually fall into one of two categories they're either timeless a design that will transcend seasons or they are trendy um born to reflect for a particular moment and this bag fell into both categories trendy and classic or timeless it was introduced in june 2014 and since then until now it's still being sold by louis v and it's a very popular bag and it's also one of the most sought after handbags in the market that is why i decided to buy it and you know i took the offer from a reputable luxury seller here in the philippines i know it's still expensive i bought it um yeah still pricey but not compared to a brand new one i got it at a very very fair price with complete documentation so that's good i can't wait to wear this bag i'm going to make a review in the future maybe comparison video what fits inside and wear and tear of course because as you can see even if this is a pre-love the condition is very pristine like new it also deserves a wear and tear review right so that's it and thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up questions uh, suggestions you can all leave them on in the comment section down below i'll get back to you soon as i can i'll see you in my next one bye